I'd like to show you how you can use chemistry to crush a metal can. At the same time, I'll show you how to do a neat trick uh, using chemistry. The can that we're going to crush is going to need to be filled with carbon dioxide gas. And I'm going to do this by reacting baking soda with vinegar. So first I'm going to need to take this can, it's already been filled with water, and I'm going to invert it into this large container here that's filled with water. Alright. Next I'm going to take this sidearm flask, and this is where we're going to put the baking soda and vinegar. And I'm going to take this sidearm flask to which a tube has been attached, and I'm going to make it so the tube goes up into our metal can. Now we're going to react baking soda and vinegar in our sidearm flask and collect the gas produced inside this can. This will get a little messy, but the job here is just to collect CO2 in our metal can. Here's my baking soda. Here's my vinegar. I'm going to try to add this a little time so I don't get much overflowing. Stopper it. Give it a little shake. So we'll add some more vinegar. And we'll continue doing this for a while. Okay, that took some time, but it looks like we have our can pretty much filled with carbon dioxide gas now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the tube, and we're going to go ahead and um, take the can out. I'm going to let the water pour out first. I'll vert, invert the can quickly and stop it. I don't want to leave the can inverted for too long because carbon dioxide gas is more dense than air and so it's going to sink out of the can and we'll lose the CO2 we collected. Now to get ready for the trick I want to make it look like this can is completely empty. So to do that I'm going to need to get some of the water that's trapped in here out so it won't look like it's dripping when I invert it later on. So to do that I'm just going to put the paper towel in here like this and invert the can. The paper towel absorbs the water that's falling out of the can, but I also think it minimizes the loss of carbon dioxide flowing out of the can when it's inverted. I'm just going to have to do this a couple times to get rid of the water. Now to pull off the trick, I'm going to use another can that just has air in it. Now I'm ready to pull off the trick. I'm first going to show that each can is empty. And then I add about 100 mils of concentrated sodium hydroxide solution to each can. Seal it. It's helpful to give each can a shake. And we'll let the chemistry reaction take place. The concentrated sodium hydroxide solution will react with carbon dioxide in the can on this side. And it'll remove the carbon dioxide, lowering the pressure inside the can, which will allow atmospheric pressure to do its work. And that's how you use chemistry to crush a can.